Praise be to God on this glorious day, everybody! Colorful Artie's back for more Donkey Kong Country Free Game Boy Advance. So, just heads up, if in this episode some of my stats look different or are inconsistent with the last level, that's because I forgot to save after the last episode, so I had to redo those last three levels over again. So, my coin count is going to be different, at least in terms of the bear coins, and maybe I completed those levels as a different calm than last time. But that's the only discrepancy. Maybe I also have different lives. But anyways, today's, it's going to be a blast, because guess what? We're going to the Cliffside Blast. With some freaking phenomenal music. We're going to the Old West. So, it's a barrel cannon level. With, some, with an amazing harmonica fiddle song in the background. Or as I like to call it, the American music. I feel like this is the one song which pretty much everybody, even fans of the Super NES version, agree, yeah, this is better in the GBA version. And we're gonna get to hear it plenty in the game. And the reason I go to Pacifica first is really because of this level. I feel like this is the best introduction to the Wild West setting. Also, look at the background! Not only is that like a beautiful sky, but look, look at the rocks in the background. Also, platform here, you can move through this. And bonus barrel. Collect 22 stars. Oh boy. Okay, these are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. These are copters, with a K. Copters are totally invincible. And we will be seeing them a lot more in the game. Whew, but I get did it. Yeah, they're totally invincible, and they've got a giant hitbox, so... They can kill you pretty easily. You can, however, get unlimited jumps off of their helmet, which is nice. I feel like more games need to have psalms with harmonicas in them. Because the harmonica is an underrated instrument. If done well. Hey, check that out. It's a coin. Alright, so we need to take this down here. Avoid the red buzzer. That's a pretty precise throw you need to do. Because if you throw it too high, it's going to hit the red buzzer. Throw it too low, the coin's going to reflect it. I need Kitty Kong. Well, maybe not. Never mind. Well, I got my wish anyways. The Wild West Cliff levels are definitely levels where you want to have Dixie Kong lead, just because her ponytail twirl is very useful. Oop. Yeah. Stupid copters. Ah, oh, blast. Still, I really never get tired of hearing this music, so... I hope you guys feel the same way. Oh, I, f I could have sworn that was a parry of the parallel bird box. I don't remember getting him on this level. Oop. Yeah, if you encounter a copter, just get on the rope the opposite way the copter's facing. Blast. I still need to get back up to 50 coins! Also need to be on my lookout for that other bonus barrel. Because this is the part of the game where I don't exactly remember where all of the stuff is on each level. Particularly in this world. Shh. 
That was close. Cool, that's where the G is. Oh, what? Uh, I should have gotten to the right first. There's like a one frame window where you can press the A button to start the level again before loading the world map. It's a bit faster. Speedrun strats. Darn it! Darn it, Woody! Blast. Well, to be fair, this is where the game really starts getting difficult. Although, to be honest, this is a pretty easy level for this world. The next level is going to be much harder. Much harder. Oh. Okay. No! Why didn't it let me jump? Oh well. I'm still having fun. At least got the last coin I needed. Okay, that's definitely got to be where the bonus barrel is. I forgot the bonus barrels on the in these levels tend to not be too well hidden. Tend to. This one's not too bad once you realize you can jump on the copters' heads. <sighs> and I just realized are horizontal ropes pretty much an exclusive to Donkey Kong Country Free? They might have been in two. Like oh, oh yeah, they were in two for a bit. Alright, Cliffside Blast is done, Cranky's Dojo's over there if you want, and it's time to head to quite possibly just the hardest level in the game. No joke. So you know how everybody hates animal antics and it was super hard because of that, just that one small segment of the level that had wind? Well this whole level's like that! And it's underwater, yep. Only instead of brambles you've got these green lurchins. Okay, I guess it is important to note that unlike Animal Antics, where the wind just alternates going back and forth, this is like preset triggers where it's like, oh, if you step in this area, the wind will change to this direction. So if you've memorized the level super well, it's actually like not terrible, but it's still like hard. Yeah, so like you can see that <laughs> depending on where I am, the wind is just changing like crazy. I don't think that's where I, uh, the bonus barrel is. I think the bonus barrel's down here, I wanna say. Yep, that's what I thought. This might not be the hardest level in the game. There are some lost level level lost world levels that are insane. But this is definitely the hardest, like, real level in the game. Level that you have to do to complete it. And again, this one was not in the Super NES version at all. That was a close one. Those lurchins really, really make me nervous. Oh, and now we have to backtrack for this area again. Actually, wait a second. Is it actually like 
the wind only affects, like, the wind moves whatever direction you're facing away from. So, like, if I'm facing to the left, the wind might blow right, whereas if I turn around, the wind should turn around as well. Because if so, that's still hard, but that's, like, more manageable. Okay, oh. Whoa! I am getting really lucky on this level. This level is much harder than it looks. Oh, you actually do have to go for that. Okay, now, but the wind is just set. And okay, yeah, like, jerk stuff like that, where it's like, oh, you're right next to the urchin? Oh, we'll change the wind, so you fly right in its face. And remember, wind is my least favorite platforming mechanic ever. More so than ice physics, more so than auto-scrollers. I kind of wanted to go back there. And it's just not gonna even let me go back there. I'm pretty sure the bonus barrel was up the other way, so... I also think this is one of those levels where you need both cones at the end, if you want to get the... coin. And I still got hit anyways. Lovely. This is not even the last water level in the game. Also, does, is it my imagination, or does Dixie swim... ...like, smaller leaps than Kitty does? Because I feel like when Dixie swims upwards, she only goes like a tiny bit up, whereas Kitty makes like a huge leap upwards. Which makes Kitty Kellen much more annoying to swim with, because it's hard for him to get the precise movements down. <laughs> No. Why? Oh, never mind. There's another way. Find the coin. At least the bonus barrels don't have wind. Or I guess since it's underwater currents. Good Jane. Final street, darn it. Oh, I remember this part. Current just keeps pushing you backwards, you just gotta press on. I hope I don't need both cones at the end, because that would be really annoying. I don't! Yay! But watch out, because there is that lurching underwater. Woot! That level's just ridiculous in terms of its difficulty. But it's done! At last! Alright. Time for the next level. Surf's up! And this is a kind of an interesting last level for Pacifica, because this is quite possibly the easiest level in the world. It's another one of the toboggan levels. And honestly, this one might be... If memory serves, this one might be easier than Demolition Drain Pipe. Despite my ineptitude at it. Aw, oh, darn it. I'm pretty sure I've already missed a bonus barrel. I think there was an invisible one down in one of the pits. 
But oh well. How's this for music, though? Curse the toboggan. It's just a lot of buzzers. And we I already made it to the end without getting anything. That was great. A plus. So tell me guys, is it refreshing to watch a guy who's like Pretty good at Donkey Kong Country, but not like amazing at it. <laughs> Play through the games. Because I consider myself to be a good player, and then I discovered speedrunning. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh no, I am average. Oh, come on. I forgot how close together the buzzers are. There we go. Alright, well we made it to the end. Sweet! We all know what the steel keg means. It means avoid these- No, Darn it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, if we have to carry the steel keg all this way, that's kind of ridiculous. Never mind. Alright, cool. If you can get the good jump off of that beetle, and by that I mean hold A while you hit the beetle, then you're good. Woohoo! That's just ridiculously easy. Alright, so that level was actually kind of tough. And I said it was super easy. Well, that's because there's a little secret that I didn't show. Alright. So you start the level. You go forwards. Toboggan's there. Jump on in. Well, how about we jump over it? Well, no, there's the ba watcher barrel there that will prevent us from doing that. But, there's a way around it. Like many things in life. If we do the team for- okay. You can actually bypass the entire toboggan segment if you team throw just right. Darn it. It's hard because the launcher barrel is invisible so you can't see how big it is. But it can be done. Booyah! So now we can literally do the whole level just normally. It's kind of hilarious. Some of these bees you might need to do another team throw to get over. But yeah! <laughs> it's kind of hilarious that you can do this. And yeah, that's where the bonus barrel is. Unfortunately, if you enter a bonus barrel or hit the halfway point and die, you it will spawn you in a toboggan. The surf's up, dude! Actually, the surf's down. No! I didn't think there would be another fish. Ding-dong, ding-dong. Yeah, it's kind of hilarious that you can just go for the whole level without entering a toboggan if you so desire. Of course, it is faster to just use the toboggan. Boom, boom, 
Yeah. It's a deceptively difficult uh, bonus barrel to reach. Kitty Cone's also a bigger hit box, so it's easier for him to take damage underwater. Alright, there's a fish up here. Alright, enough of this dump. That was the last bonus barrel we needed. So before we do the boss, there's a hidden cave, Whirlpool Wreck. Alright, these are getting a bit tougher now. Alright, it's time for the boss of Pacifica, Barbos' Barrier. If you play the Super Nintendo version, this guy's the boss of a different world. However, they moved him to Pacifica because it made more sense for him to be the boss here. He's also one of the ugliest bosses in existence. And we play as Ongard. He's a giant lurchin. So what you want to do is he... Okay, well you don't want to do that, for starters. Alright, so you'll automatically move down into the arena at the beginning. Do not move down on your own. So basically, Barbos is here. He's going to spit out a Lurchin. What you want to do is kill the Lurchin as on guard. Alright, well, he's being annoying. There we go. And remember, the way to do that, you need to hit the Lurchin while they are open. Man, you are being annoying. He's supposed to shoot the Lurchins decently far out. Alright, cool. We got rid of him. So now what we want to do is do his charge move right into Barbos. And yeah, like, look how ugly this guy is. I'm sorry, but... It's a little creepy. Now we get these homing crabs going after us. What we you what you want to do is make it so that they're going to hit the purple lurchins on each of his sides. Once the purple lurchins are gone, you are free to kill him as you please. Alright, new plan. Hit the lurchins on his top. Like that. Although admittedly, Barbos is pretty tough boss. He shoots a lot of stuff at you, he has a decent amount of HP, and he can take, like, on guard super charge moves like they're nothing. There we go. He'll always move one of his purple or, or his pink lurchins so that it's on the side you're on so you can't hit him early. Yeah, like, he is super resistant. Like, I just speared him essentially with a rapier right in his face, and he's just like, yeah, whatever. Oh, that's right. Getting flashbacks to King Zane's stain here. Alright, yeah, I missed my opportunity. Just hide here, and you'll avoid all his spinies. Alright, once he's doing that, you want to move up here. And you actually can hit him. But of course, he's going to go back to throwing these at you. And rinse and repeat. I think this guy would have benefited from having the Eric music. And, oh, we killed him. And he's crying now, oh no. Well, we didn't actually kill him, I guess. Well done, Dixie! On guard came in handy for tackling that strange sea creature! On to the next world! Will this game ever end? I guess... Okay, judging by Cranky's uh, message at the end, I'm guessing the game designers intended you to do Pacifica last? I did it first. Oh well. That's fine. That's where we're going to end the episode off for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you tune in for the next episode. We will be heading towards K3, the snow mountain. Have a great day, and God bless.